Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. Let's talk about the tibia and fibula as we work our way through the skeleton. So first we have the tibia. Here's how I remember the two. The tibia is shaped like a T. Not a great T, but still, if you're looking at the two bones, which one's which? The tibia is shaped like a T. Tibia is going to support about 90% of your weight. The fibula is going to be a lot skinnier, skinnier because it only supports about 10% of your weight. So that's how I remember the tibia versus the, the fibula. So the tibia, the first two important structures, we have the medial and lateral condyles. He's going to be the flat joint that fits with the medial and lateral lateral condyle of the femur. That's going to be your primate, your knee joint there. So that's the medial and lateral condyle. Underneath that, we have the on the front, we have the tibial tuberosity. This is going to be where the patellar tendon, so the, or the quadriceps tendon, um, inserts on your tibia. So you have, this is, uh, this is important because obviously we all have one, but if you're younger and you're doing a lot of explosive activities, you can develop jumper's knee or Osgood Schlatter's because this tibial tuberosity isn't fully attached to the rest of the tibia yet. And and the explosive contraction of your quadriceps muscles can actually cause an avulsion fracture there. So you ever seen one that looks like they have like half a golf ball in the front of their knee or like an extra patella that they, they probably had Osgood Schlatter's when they were growing up. Now it, it, it will fuse and everything. It'll just kind of be deformed. But that's the tibial tuberosity and then how that can relate to jumper's knee. The last key structure with the tibia there is the medial malleolus on the bottom. You'll notice that the medial malleolus of the tibia and the lateral malleolus of the fibula, they kind of frame the ankle. The same same way the styloid processes of the radial and ulna frame the wrist. So that's the tibia. Fibula, uh, really just know the head of the fibula there is proximal and then the lateral malleolus on the outside. Then between the tibia and fibula, you do have the inner osseous membrane which that some tearing and inflammation there can be a big part of shin splints if you ever develop those. But those are the key structures there in the tibia and the fibula. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.